Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is our lesson 3 on Catalan Automation Tool Concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you the basic concept of automating a basic test case by using record and replay option available in Catalan Studio. So this lesson onwards, I'm going to deep dive into the core technical concepts of Catalan Studio, which will be very helpful in automating the different critical scenarios by using Catalan Studio. Okay, so stay tuned. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts. Thank you. Okay, so what are the advantages of record and replay? So basically, by using record and replay in Catalan, you can automate the test cases very quickly. That is one advantage. And also, it captures each and every action of the user, what he is going to perform on the application. And also, it captures every object on which you perform the action. And also, you will have an option to update the recorded steps. It's not that you just record it, but you can also update the recorded steps. And it add, you can basically add validation points also. So whenever you record the test, it records the manual steps, which is a scriptless manual steps. And also it records the script scripting language. Basically, it records the Selenium scripting language and Java scripting language. And also, it's, it adds the scriptless manual steps as well. And then, you can replay your test on any browser. Let's assume you recorded the test on Chrome browser. And you modified your steps and you added, added some validation points. And then you can replay that recorded test in different browser like Firefox or Edge. So these are all the different advantages of the Catalan Studio record and replay. Right? Now let's jump onto the system and let me teach you how can we automate a basic test case by using these record and replay option, by updating the recorded steps and by adding additional steps to validate the expected results okay let's jump out of the system so let me open my computer and let me open my Catalan studio okay so this is my Catalan studio uh, I have already explained you how can we install and then how can we set up Catalan studio in the system in on Windows so you can follow my previous uh, lesson 1 and lesson 2 to understand installation process of Catalan. Okay. So now, so let me create a new project first. Go to file or click on just create new sample file or go to file and click on project. Okay. File new project. So as soon as you click on project, so let me name this as YouTube recordings is the my project okay and then click ok so as soon as you click ok it's gonna create a structure of the project so that structure contains let me tell you so that structure contains your profile test case folder object repository folder test suits, data files, checkpoints, keywords, test listeners, reports, plugins. So I'm going to explain about these folders whenever we get a relevant topic in the lesson. Okay. So for now, let us concentrate on only test cases and object repository. Okay. So now let me create a new test case, right? So let me create a new, for that, you need to right click on test cases folder and select a test case. 
name this as free test project i'm just naming this as uh, uh, let me name this as login test okay login test click on okay so as soon as you create a login test on click on okay it's going to open a test case wizard okay so here now if you see on the menu bar right here so i'm not going to explain each and every option in this particular session but the relevant options that we are going to use in every lesson i'm going to explain you okay so if you see here you have a record web you also have a record mobile option you also have a record windows actions right so for now as we are automating web application we are going to use record web option okay click on record web option as soon as you click on record web option it's going to ask you to enter your url okay so this is my application url which i'm going to start automating okay so and then once you click on this either you can record on chrome or you can record on firefox or you can record on edge or you can record on ie okay so first you will be recording on let me record on chrome click on record as soon as you click on record it's going to open the same application that we have provided here okay so now let me expand this and show you whenever we record a test so what is the full name so whenever i clicked on the edit box see if you see it is recording the step i am setting the text and then provide your password if you see as soon as i provided the password it's gonna it's added another step right and then click on login as soon as i click on login it's added login i want to validate once i login i want to validate this text whether this text appeared or not okay so now let me stop the recording here okay or let me close the browser okay let me close the browser and stop the recording okay so as soon as i stop the recording okay it's not responding just to give, give a second okay okay i close the browser and then i stop the recording right so if you observe this this is our web recorder window right so what i am doing i want to validate the text message that appeared once i log in right for that i need to instead of click i need to validate right so let me do one thing and also let me open our captured objects if you open this show captured objects if you open this if you see when i recorded each and every action right let's assume this is my url and this is my username that i provided if you see the corresponding object called full name and the corresponding attributes what happens whenever you perform an action on a locator it's going to capture all the attribute property values of that particular locator right of that particular object it captured different locators here okay and if you see on the password it captured all these locators and it is considering the first locator x path and then login button if you see these are all the locators it captured and this is the locator it is considering while identifying the object so this is your object repository where i have captured it captured all the elements and their properties are locators in the object repository right now instead of uh, so as i told you i want to validate let me just again let me show you we already stopped the recording right let me show you what i want to validate okay i'm just logging in by using same username and password 
So if you see this text, I want to validate once I log in whether this text element appeared or not, right? For that, what you need to do? Let me delete this step. So what you need to do to delete step? Select the step and then click on remove. Now I want to add a new step here. Add web UI keyword and I want to move this to up before closing browser, right? Here, when I expand this, or I can type here, verify. So this is called keywords, okay? I'm adding a new keyword here, verify element. If you see, verify element present, right? As soon as I typed verify element, it's gonna show you all the keywords which I want to use. Okay, I want to verify the element present or not. Double click on this. And what is the object that you want to verify? When I record, when I was recording the test, I clicked on this object. So that's why if you see here, that object is already added to object repository. So now here, I want to select the object. So whenever you double click on this, right? It's going to show all the object repositories and the corresponding objects. So this is what the object I want to header, which is header, test project example page header. I want to check if this element present or not as soon as I log in, right? Select the object, click on OK. That's it. And then close the browser. So when I clicked on login, I added a validation point here to validate the header. And then I'm closing the browser, right? I have modified the step. Now I want to save this script. Click on save. As soon as you click on save, it's going to ask you, do you want to add all these objects into an object repository or do you want to create a new folder? Better we create a new folder. Okay. So you can just click on new folder, login page. I want to name this as login page because I want to follow the page object model page wise object I want to create. So that's why I'm creating a new folder called login page. Click on OK and then click on OK. So as soon as you click on OK, if you see it created a new test case called login test case. If you see here under object repository by default, I mean, because I saved the script, it stored all of your objects under an object repository called login page because I selected a new folder there, right? Done. So now let's run this test and see what happens. Okay. So if whenever you want to run, either you can directly run this, which runs the test in the same browser where you record it. Or if you want to run in different browsers, you can select here. So for now, let's select Chrome browser. Run this and see what happens. It's going to open the browser. So it's running. It's opening the browser. Let me expand the log text view here. So if you see it's opened the browser, it's going to enter the username and password. It's going to verify the header. So if you see, in the log viewer, first step is passed. Second step of navigate to the URL passed. Username entered passed. So it passed. All the steps got passed. If you want to see the only steps that are failed, you can just click here. If you want to see all the steps, you can click here. Okay. So that means my test is passed. Right. So hope you all understand how can you record the test and then how can you modify the recorded test by adding a new verification points and also how can you store your objects in the object repository after completing your recording, right? So you can create your own folder structure or you can use the default folder structure, right? So this is very basic concept, okay? So 
in the upcoming lessons we are gonna go very deep into the concepts i'm gonna teach you very complex scenarios multi browser testing multi i mean cross browser testing cross platform testing and how can you uh, do a parallel browser testing right how can you create test suits how can you perform data driven testing by using excel sheets how can you uh, basically create parameterization how can you create variables how can you use if loop uh, sorry if functions for loops etc etc and how can you create custom keywords so these are all very very important concepts in automating your test cases very effectively which helps you in saving lot of time okay so if you have any questions provide your comments in the comment box i'm going to reply to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts thank you